Hey everyone, in today's video, we're testing a powerful trading strategy that combines the ADX and OBV indicators, leveraging both trend strength and volume flow. We'll code the strategy in Python, optimize it with FreckTrade, and run back tests to see how it performs. Let's dive in. Before we dive into the strategy, let's break down the key indicators we'll be using in this strategy. Average Directional Movement Index, ADX. The ADX is a technical indicator that measures the strength of a trend, regardless of its direction. It is a non-directional oscillating indicator displayed as a single line, ranging from 0 to 100. Higher values indicate a stronger trend. It's important to note that the ADX does not tell you whether the trend is bullish or bearish. It simply reflects the strength of the current trend. So, whether the market is in a strong uptrend or a strong downtrend, the ADX line will rise. Here's how to interpret what the ADX is telling us about the market. When the ADX is above 25, the trend is considered strong enough for trend-following strategies. For example, in this chart, we see the ADX line crossing above the 25 threshold, indicating the start of a strong, bullish trend. When the ADX is below 25, the trend is weak or the market is ranging. In this case, traders should avoid trend-based strategies. As seen in this example, the price moves sideways within a range, showing a lack of clear direction. To determine trend direction, we use two directional movement indicators, the positive DI and negative DI. The ADX itself measures trend strength while the crossovers between positive DI and negative DI help us identify trend direction. When the ADX is above 25 and positive DI crosses above negative DI, it signals a strong bullish trend, a good opportunity to consider long positions. Conversely, when the ADX is above 25 and positive DI crosses below negative DI, it indicates a strong bearish trend. In this example, the bears take control of the market, and we can safely look for short opportunities. But we can't rely on just one indicator, as that could lead to many false signals. So, we add a second indicator to filter the entries more effectively. The second indicator is On Balance Volume OBV. OBV measures buying and selling pressure by using volume flow. In simple terms, it shows whether volume is flowing into or out of an asset. To help identify bullish or bearish momentum more clearly, we apply a 100 period simple moving average to the OBV. When OBV is above the 100 SMA, it suggests bullish momentum. When OBV is below the 100 SMA, it indicates bearish momentum. By combining the ADX with the OBV filter, we can confirm trend strength and volume momentum for better entries. Now that we've covered the key indicators, let's apply them to analyze trends and generate trade signals. To enter a long trade, all of the following conditions must be met. 1. ADX is above 25, indicating a strong trend. 2. Positive DI crosses above negative DI, signaling bullish momentum. 3. OBV is above its 100 period SMA, confirming volume support. Once these conditions are met, we enter the trade on the next candle. We'll set the stop loss just below the signal candle using signal candle close, minus two ATR. For the take profit, we apply a 1.5 to one risk reward ratio. The target is placed at a distance 1.5 times the size of the stop loss. If a candle closes above the take profit level, we exit the trade and lock in the profit. Next, let's take a look at short trades. To enter a short trade, all of the following conditions must be met. 1. ADX is above 25, indicating a strong trend. 2. Positive DI crosses below negative DI, signaling bearish momentum. 3. OBV is below its 100 period SMA, confirming bearish volume pressure. Once these conditions are met, we enter the trade on the next candle. We'll set the stop loss just above the signal candle using signal candle close plus 2 ATR. For the take profit, we apply a 1.5 to 1 risk reward ratio. The target is placed 1.5 times the size of the stop loss. If a candle closes below the take profit level, 
we exit the trade and secure the profit. Now that we've covered the strategy, let's move on to optimizing it for better performance using FrecTrade, a free open source crypto trading bot built with Python. If you want to dive deeper into FrecTrade, check out the full course linked in the description. Here's the plan. We'll test the strategy on the one hour time frame. The data is split into two sets. In sample, eight months. Used for tuning strategy parameters, out of sample, four months. Used to test the strategy on unseen data. We'll focus on optimizing the following important parameters. ADX threshold, to filter out weak trends. DI cross window, determines how long the crossover signal stays valid. OBV MA period, smooths the OBV signal for clearer trend confirmation. ATR multiplier and risk ratio. These are used to set effective stop loss and take profit levels. We'll use FrecTrade's HyperOpt tool to find the best combination of these settings, aiming to maximize profit while minimizing drawdown. Once optimized, we'll run a backtest to see how the strategy performs with real market data. Let's take a closer look at the backtesting results. The strategy was tested on SOL Perpetual Futures with a one hour time frame, covering the past 12 months using the optimized parameters. Over the testing period, the strategy showed a 336% total return. During the same time, the overall market saw a 29% decline, which provides a point of comparison. The maximum drawdown recorded was 23%, indicating there were some periods of loss. But the overall equity curve remained positive. Looking at the performance chart, the strategy produced a steady upward trend with no significant drawdowns, suggesting relatively stable behavior across different phases of the market. The optimization was done using eight months of in-sample data, fine-tuning parameters to achieve the best possible settings. Afterward, it was tested on four months of out-of-sample data to ensure that it performs well on unseen data and is not overfitting to past trends. If you'd like to explore the Freck Trade strategy file and review the details for your own analysis, there's a link in the description below. You'll also find a pair optimized version, which is set up to trade multiple pairs simultaneously, each with its own set of fine tuned parameters. This can help manage risk by spreading exposure across different assets. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and share it with your friends. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.